Um, what do you say a woman is? I believe that everyone can identify for themselves. Okay. Um, do, do you believe then that men can become pregnant and have abortions? Yes. That's where we are. That's, that's in the record. Can you imagine 100 years from now, them looking back at the record? That's real. This, is, this happened in Washington, D.C. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Education and welcome to another SJW Woke Cringe episode. We've been doing this series for a couple years now, just highlighting this spiral down the woke hole. And this has been going on for eh, several years now, but it just keeps going further and further and further. And like the intro clip, it's hard to tell what is real and what is satire now because what used to be satire is becoming real. And go to the Babylon Bee to see the countless examples that they have pre pretty much predicted. Well, you guys, let's get serious here. Um, if you cringe at any of these examples today, you lose. It means you're a bad person. It means you're a bigot. It means you're canceled, okay? Because if you don't accept this full heartedly every word, you're a bigot. You're a bad person, okay? And uh, we're going to get you fired from your job. So let us know in the comments. Did you did you cringe at any of these examples? If you accept the terms of today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now, on to today's woke cringe compilation. You cringe, you lose, go. 18-year-old men then and now. I need feminism because my gender gets way too much credit. <laughs> Bro, you're friend zoned, okay? Quit pulling this crap. Even if you do this, she's still not going to like you. Wake up, bro. It's not going to happen. Uh, this is pretty sad, by the way. Very sad. From every man, Jack, groom with pride. That tweet has since been deleted. Every man, Jack. Uh, the corporate pandering, I forgot to mention. We are in corporate pandering month. Uh, so we're going to see some more of these fails, I imagine, in today's compilation. This is what happens when the corporate pandering backfires. Perfect example. Nice work, every man, Jack. Nice work. U.S. Army considering letting soldiers change base if local laws offend their choice of gender. Is this why we're getting out of the Middle East? I, I don't know. Thomas started her senior year on the women's team, but her success in the water was met with outrage leading up to the NCAA championships. Her critics say she jumped in the rankings between the men's and the women's team. And there are some who look at the data and suggest that you're enjoying a competitive advantage. What do you say to that? There's a lot of factors that go into a race and how how well you do and the biggest change for me is that i'm happy and sophomore year um where i had my best times competing with the men i was miserable and so having that be lifted is incredibly relieving and allows me to put my all into training into racing trans people don't transition for athletics we transition as long as Leah's happy, guys, right? That's all that matters. As long as Leah's happy. Uh, by the way, Leah said it in this interview, competing with the men sophomore year. That was literally like a year and a half, two years ago. No competitive advantage. None, guys. Accept it. Accept it, you bigot. <laughs> I lose. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is a nice one. We already had something like this before. Uh, but just sort of a reminder... Look at this. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Cisco, Lenovo, Bethesda in the West versus their accounts in the Middle East. How come you're not changing your accounts? If you really care, if you really care, why don't you do it everywhere, right? If that's what you're trying to promote, how come you don't do that? This is every company, though, by the way. Why can't the name of this Crayola crayon be just called Black? What the hell? I didn't appreciate explaining this to my second grader yesterday. I think I will start a petition or buy a no-name brand crayon. From Crayola, we are grateful for the opportunity to respond. Crayola offers multiple languages on some products 
to help children learn. Negro, pronounced negro, is the appropriate word a Spanish-speaking child would use for the color black. We hope this is helpful. <laughs> you guys, I've been saying it. I've been saying it. And I think we have the AOC clip in here. Um, the Spanish language is problematic, okay? Take it from this outraged person. <laughs> from Deadspin. White fans were entertained by black athletes a day after a racist killed black people in Buffalo. This is what white supremacy looks like. That's right. If you watch sports and you're white, um, you're a bad person. If you enjoy sports and you root on the players, that's you're a really, really, really bad person. Shame on you. Take it from these people here. Pro whatever the F she says. Like I said earlier, dude, this is not going to gain you favor with her. You're friend zoned. Stop. This is embar I'm embarrassed for you, bro. Joy Behar floats sex strike. This is war. No, no, fellas. Oh, no. Oh, no. We better start out getting out there with those signs. This is not good, guys. Joy Behar. Just the perfect person to spearhead this movement. <laughs> what would we do without the view? Comedy gold. Professionalism is racist. Events to be held in U.S. University. <laughs> the event's organizers argue that dressing professionally upholds white supremacy. No more suits. Get rid of it. No more ties. No more suits. No more ties. It's... Mm, I've been saying that for years, actually. From the New York Times. Imagine a world where men had to breastfeed their babies. Uh, why? Why when men can't? Batman fans react to hints Bruce Wayne is bisexual. DC Comics has hinted that Bruce Wayne might be bisexual in the comics as Batman shares a potentially romantic moment with a friend. Yeah, I don't know what, you know, the superhero movies, this is, uh, they went downhill years ago, but they're just jamming more, more and more propaganda in there. Let's unpack this a little. A. Women's sport exists as a category because the dominance of men athletes was threatened by women competing. We see this over and over again in the history of sport. It's true. If um, if women and men played together in like football and NFL or in basketball, it would probably be like 70% women starting because they're way better at sports than men. Um, that's just a scientific fact. They're more muscle mass, bigger bone densities. You know, it's just a fact. So she is right. She's totally right here, and uh, I'm glad the science is changing. You know? Kellogg's spokesperson announces Rice Krispie mascot Pop is now a trans woman. There we go. Uh, Rice Krispies. Um, make sure you set that box in front of your kids so they know. You know. LGBTQ advocate demands Bill Maher's cancellation by HBO. Says comedian has gone too far. Bill Maher recently challenged LGBTQ orthodoxy on his HBO program. I just want to remind you guys that, like, this is how far to the left they're moving. Bill Maher is a liberal. He's a left-wing guy. And they're going as far as trying to cancel him now. That's where this whole thing is. It's extreme. Like, way extreme. At this point, trans people should be allowed to call Dave Chappelle the N-word. <laughs> I feel like people are misunderstanding this tweet. I'm not saying that trans people can call all black people that horrible word, just Chappelle, as a way of holding him accountable. It's not even racial. I fully support trans people calling J.K. Rowling the N-word as well. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one so far today. Oh, you idiot. Norwegian feminist faces three years in prison over saying transgenders aren't women. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm offended. I'm offended. That is just, ooh, I hope she goes to prison for her life. Norwegian feminist questioned by police for saying men can't be lesbians. Is this the same story? Is this the same one? What the hell is going on in Norway? What the? The Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial was an orgy of misogyny. Are you kidding me? She lied. He's a bad person. Like, obviously. Show me the evidence that being fat is preventable. Show me. 
Show me your data saying that you can make a fat person thin. Show me your data saying that a world without fat people is possible if only everyone would eat right and move more. I'll wait. I'll wait forever. Is that real? Is that satire? I'm going to say that's satire. It's got to be. Hashtag believe all women. Hashtag what is a woman? <laughs> what is a woman? It's true. I haven't seen that documentary yet, but uh, I'm definitely going to watch it. Because I'm confused, guys. What is a woman? What is a woman? We have 1,028 days left. <laughs> the activists, oh, they're giving us so much entertainment recently. They're going on the tennis courts now. Uh, th this is a climate activist, by the way. We only have 1,028 days left, um, which isn't true. We already passed that point of no return. Remember the deadline that AOC gave us? We're way past it, actually, and we're already screwed. So I don't know where you're getting this 1,028 days, but nice work. Thanks for the entertainment. This is hilarious. Look at you getting carted off here. Um, you didn't do anything. You didn't sway any minds. Zero. You swayed nobody onto your side. You probably made more enemies. That's what I don't understand about these activists. Well, yeah, do, you work, are you, do you pay your taxes? You pay your taxes? Yeah, Guess what? How does it feel working for me because I live on a That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Can you imagine being proud of that? Like, there's a difference between, um, like, actually needing to be on something like that. I mean, there's many people that, that really, truly can't work and uh, are, you know, injured, stuff like that. But to, to brag about it, and that's just kind of, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? From Fatherly. Pride parades and the pride festivals that follow are noisy and crowded. They're filled with sites that may be new to kids, like public nudity and kink. So, is it appropriate to take your young kids to pride? Yes, you should take your kids to a pride parade. Um, you know, I, I also wouldn't take them to any, like, straight kink either. Like that, that's, um, they're kids. So today in Queer Teacher Things, um, one of my students asked about my roommate, um, cause I know I have a roommate and I told them their name and they asked if my roommate was a boy or a girl and I said, neither. And they were like, no, Miss Brown, it, are they a boy or a girl? I was like, my friend, they're neither. They were like, well, do they have a boy name or a girl name? And I said, neither. And they said, well, do they wear boy clothes or girl clothes? And I said, well, what are boy clothes and girl clothes? And they go, you know. And I said, no, my friend, I don't know. What are boy clothes and girl clothes? And they said, well, what kind of clothes do they wear? And I said, well, they normally wear jeans and a t-shirt. And they said, well, what color is the t-shirt? And I said, all colors. And they said, well, that doesn't make any sense. And I said, it doesn't have to make sense. And then they walked away because they got mad at me. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Teachers in schools having these conversations with your kids. How does it make you feel? It doesn't matter who you click with. Happy Pride, Amsterdam. Um, yeah, but the seatbelt only works one way. I mean, this is not the best example. The Whoppers come with either two top buns or two bottom buns. Time to be proud. Uh... Whopper, Burger King doing their best to try to, you know, take advantage of the marketing in June. <laughs> it's from the Telegraph. Census could ask, do you menstruate instead of are you female? Taxpayer funded study suggests gender neutral language has become a highly contentious topic. Ah, oh, man, this is tax dollars. Well spent, guys. Well spent. Men always win. Survivors sickened by the Amber Heard verdict. No, but like she is really bad at lying. Like, really, really bad. From the U.S. Marines. Throughout June, the USMC takes pride in recognizing and honoring the contributions of our LGBTQ service members. We remain committed to fostering an environment free from discrimination and defend the values of treating all equally with dignity and respect. With the rainbow bullets. Oh yeah, those rainbow bullets. 
Careful, all of you though, all of you in Russia and the Middle East, those rainbow bullets are coming for you. Hi from America, where Walmart doesn't have a plug adapter for my UK laptop, but on the other hand, I can buy a rifle and ammunition. <laughs> Look at this, what an idiot. Uh, this is what happens when you're from the UK and you don't know much. Careful, buddy, you might shoot your eye out. Amber Heard verdict sends a message to black women everywhere. Um, what, what am I saying? Everything is about race, guys. Everything, everything is racist. Every, everything. We know that. Also in the spirit of pride, I wanted to have a note on gender inclusivity in Spanish language. People sometimes like to make a lot of drama over the term Latinx. But even before Latinx, people were trying to do this like an at to have the A and the O together. Gender is fluid, language is fluid, and I think people right now are using the E term as gender neutral in order to be as inclusive as possible. Don't have to make drama. Don't have to make drama, guys. Just accept it. Just change the entire course of the Spanish language because it's it's bad. It's bigoted. It's wrong. Obviously, everyone knows that. Take it from me, I'll see. When does her uh, seat get relegated, by the way? Isn't New York losing its seats? I mean, it can't happen soon enough. It's not this one, but next election, maybe? Hopefully. How'd you do in today's video? Did you cringe at any of these clips? Because if you did, let us know in the comments so we can call your employer and get you fired. Because you're not accepting the new rules of society, all right? Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot. Idiots.